Hello, it's actually night here, and I have a couple of wines, they're Josh wines, that I want to review. Hold on a minute, I thought I turned the TV down. Be right back. Okay, so I am going to review, I'm actually making my daughter some sugar cookies, letting the oven heat up. Just went to the flea market today, um, did wine promos and kombucha promos the last couple of days. I was supposed to do a wine promo of the day, and the wine wasn't there, so I still got paid, and I got to go to the flea market and go eat lunch with my husband. But over the weekend, on Friday, I did do a Josh Heritage Collection Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon 2016 promo at Total Wine in Daytona. And this was $22.99. They had $3.50 off of two bottles. And then Josh Pinot Noir. And this is uh, Family Reserve, Oregon, 2017. They're both, and this one was uh, $16.99. But if you bought two bottles, you got $3.50 off. I did really well with that. I'm going to clean my Walking Dead wine glass. You will have to check out that video. I do plan on having some more videos on some wine because I've been doing wine a lot. I am doing Glen Lovett whiskey again and I've been doing kombucha but I already have videos on those. I do plan on doing some videos on some crimes soon, revisiting the Chris Watts crime. Let me wash this glass real quick. Always want to make sure you rinse it in cold water if you haven't seen my other videos. But I do plan on getting back to my crime videos. It'll probably be more when I have time in January. Right now I'm going to be mostly reviewing wines that I've done mainly and some wines that I've gotten for the holidays. Hopefully I will be able to get some recipes in because I like to show recipes as well. Okay, so I'm drying this off. Those wines have only been open, well, back opened for about 15 minutes now. I've had them since Friday. So technically, this one is almost gone. I really like this one a lot, the Cabernet Heritage one. That one's made in California. The Pinot that's made in Oregon is very good too. But you just can't really keep red wine open more than a few days, and I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. So before I get busy with my facial, massage, and dentist appointment for my child, and finishing up Christmas shopping, and then her being off as of Wednesday, and us doing things, and all the Christmas stuff, I'm going to try to get these done. So I just wanted to update you on my channel. Thank you for all my new subscribers. I'm going to pop these sugar cookies in, and then we'll get to the wine review. Okay. So since this one's almost gone, I actually wanted to drink all this last night, but I decided to leave a little bit because it is very good. Yeah, it's over $20, I mean, with the coupon it wouldn't have been. I like the old label with the, it's pretty nice. And it says, when I was 18, I hitchhiked from New York to California and found myself in one of the world's greatest wine regions, Napa Valley. Valley. It was there that I first fell in love with wine. In the years to follow, wine became my passion. I visited and worked for wineries all over the world. No matter how many new regions I explored, I was always drawn back to Napa Valley. May my heritage collection, Cabernet Sauvignon, is an elegant and expressive representation of what Napa Valley can do. It exhibits layers of luscious. So, I can definitely smell the blackberry and spice. A little bit of vanilla. And it says, my tribute to the place that it all started, and Joseph Carr, founder and son. And you can go to joshsellersofcourse.com. 15.5% by volume of alcohol. And I really enjoy this one. Mm. You can definitely taste the blackberry and spice.
vanilla and hazelnut. It's a medium body cab, medium to full body. It's earthy. It's definitely a cab I will be trying again. Hopefully I sampled again. So that's a nice one. But I am tell I can tell that I'm starting to get a cold because um it tastes a lot different than it did the other day. But anyways. Okay, so the Pinot Noir. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a cold. I can't even really hardly smell this. This says the Josh, um, my father's name was Joseph, but his friends just called him Josh. The Josh Fel Sellers Family Reserve is a limited production collection that I first made from my family and can now share with you. Oregon is among the best wine regions in the world for growing Pinot Noir grapes, which is true because I love Oregon Pinot Noir. Even though I do have a Pinot Noir that I sampled yesterday, Cavett Pinot Noir, Definitely stay tuned for that video. But anyways, it's long, cool growing season allows grapes to ripen, slowly produce an elegant wine's exceptional balance. The Oregon Family Reserve Pinot Noir off offers scents of strawberry, cherry, and pomegranate. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to rinse out the cab. Like I said, I think I'm starting to get a cold, which sucks. I mean, it's a good thing I don't have to work until next Friday and Saturday, but I do have, tomorrow's kind of busy with going to the library, massage and facial, and then um, cooking, and well, before cooking, trying to finish up my Christmas shopping, so don't really want to get sick right now. All right. I'm only going to pour a little. Okay, I kind of smell the strawberry and cherry now. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely getting sick. So I'm not going to have much of this. But I really didn't want to, like, miss out. If you've never tried the Josh wines, they're excellent. They're good. And there is other cabs that are a little bit cheaper in the Josh wines. You can definitely smell the pomegranate, but it's soft tannins. That's more like a light meat to medium Pinot Noir. I still like the cab better, but it's a nice light Pinot Noir if you like the lighter one. And in all fairness, I think I'm getting sicker by the moment. So, definitely try Josh Wines. And definitely keep me in your prayers that I get better. Until next time, take care.